What's going on people? Welcome back to another video and we're about to head to Harvins uh, because we're gonna go and train at Graftism today which is arguably probably one of the best gyms in the UK at the minute so I'm very excited for that. I'm trying to cut down on the amount of times that I go to different gyms across the UK because petrol prices are a fucking joke but I love training. I love going to different gyms. I love trying new kit and it's like my it's my main passion. It is my passion so um, getting the opportunity to try out a new gym um, and just and just see how it is is very exciting so we're going to train posterior today i have been to this gym before but it was a couple of years ago and they've made huge changes since then so very very gassed to get in a session today and yeah um, i'm feeling good the weather's hot of course as usual i'm late to harvin so he's no doubt going to complain but look, you should know me by now when it comes to gym sessions I ain't gonna be on time. We're gonna have a great session regardless, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Yes, yes, people, I hope you're all good. And I actually wanted to go a little bit more educational with this one today, as opposed to just showing you the raw clips that I did with um, the past couple of leg days with Ash. And we got a posterior session going down in literally one of the best gyms in the UK. Last time I was here was just after the lockdown. I went with Hannah, uh, I think. I done legs but I think my knee was too busted up to really enjoy the session I'm not gonna lie but the, the gym has improved massively like this gym is sick they got prime kit they got Atlantis kit they got all the kit you need to be honest with you and the only issue I had is it just felt a little bit cramped like everything just felt like on top of each other um, but nonetheless the, the kit that they have and the atmosphere is sick um, but first exercise we had was a pull down and here we're trying to target the upper back so the goal here is pinching those shoulder blades together as I pull down I just lean back a little bit just to it, it kind of felt like a better, a better position for me just to lean back rather than staying completely upright um, and again just think about pinching those shoulder blades together and then rising up as high as you can the goal here isn't the lats the goal here is not the lats so I want to come up high get a nice stretch and then just pinch on the way down we've done a couple of sets of these um, Harvard's training is heavily focused on holding the contraction for a couple of seconds I myself haven't really done that in a while where you kind of spend a lot of time in the contraction um, but I definitely felt it a few days after and it made things a lot tougher it makes you drop your ego a bit um, but yeah that was the first one we then moved on to this chest supported T-bar which was uh, the Atlantis and again really really good piece of kit the setup's really good what we've done is we put a plate like a 20 kg plate under each kind of end um, so you'll see just on each side of that T-bar there's a plate underneath the stand uh, reason being is it just drops off at the top you'll notice with a T-bar uh, as you get to the top it's really hard to get it short and when you're playing with like five six plates on the machine it gets a little bit risky um, so I think just just raising the machine slightly just made getting it short a little bit easier and the setup felt perfect uh, and again the focus here is just try and keep that stomach chest area glued to the pad and then you also need to think about your feet as well get your feet in a position where you're the most stable you're locked into position so this is where footwear is going to play an important role um, here is different to Harvin I actually put my feet a little bit more forward because I felt like I just had more grip I was just locked in more and then it just gives you more stability if you haven't got stability you're not going to be able to produce as much force so really really important to make sure you're locked into the machine and then just controlling those eccentrics really making sure you're getting a stretch at the bottom and then just driving up and again same as with the pull down all I'm thinking about is just pinching those shoulder blades together and bringing my upper arm or humerus as high as possible and then because I had RDLs the day after this um, I didn't do Harvin's next exercise which was block pulls I actually done leg extensions instead and just to note obviously my quads are the weakest point of my physique without a doubt so anywhere where I can add the volume to quads or add volume to my quads I'm gonna do it so I basically just done a couple of sets on the prime leg extension which as I've said before is the best leg extension on the planet it's not even close 
Uh, I think the one at the coach that's a oh, I can't even I can't remember the name Star Trek. I think at the coach that's pretty good, but this one is just unbelievable. The only thing that it needs is literally um, it just needs a seatbelt. If I had my own seatbelt, it'd be good. But yeah, if this if the machine came with a seatbelt, it would be on the money. And what you can do, you'll see there's three different pegs on the machine. If you load it in the middle, so with weight in the middle. Um, it just kind of loads normally so you get the same amount of weight at the top and the lengthened uh, and then if you load the weight at the top the weight drops off as you get the quad short so as you come up the weight drops off so I've done two sets on here on the second set I just put a little bit of weight on the top um, just so it drops off at the top um, but again you can kind of play with the resistance profiles which is really cool uh, and where the where the weight is heaviest and where it drops off um, so again that's another reason as to why the prime kit is just so good so if you haven't already you need to get yourself down to this gym but yeah um, incredible machine I also put the pad a little bit higher up on my shins uh, just because it stresses my my knee out a little bit less as well if I have the pad all the way down to like my ankle it just stresses the fuck out of my knee but this machine, to be honest with you, it's not too bad. I can get away with putting the pad a bit lower, but I thought just to be safe, we'll leave it where it is. So yeah, a couple sets on there before I joined half to go back to the upper back where we went on that Hammersmith um, row. Just driving those elbows back. Again, if you look at half and you can see so much protraction. So protraction basically we just uh, the opposite of, of retraction. So. You can see those those shoulder blades literally separating, almost going apart as you as he goes forward, just to get a maximum stretch uh, in the upper back. And then as he comes back, he leans back a little bit and just squeezes the shoulder blades. This guy looks like he's about 12 hours out. Um, he's post show, so it's it's a lot easier to kind of see and demonstrate the movement with his with his muscle. Me, not so not so lean <laughs> and not as heavily muscled. Um, but yeah same thing I'm just getting a, as much of a stretch as I can I'm almost just leaning over the seat and as I pull back leaning back squeezing the upper back it's not just a quick movement it's hold at the bottom or hold at the back sorry so as you pull back hold contract hard and then control on the way down so so important um, and because Harv is obviously wanting to improve he knows that he can get strong, he knows that he, he can move a lot of weight from A to B but now it's just a case of getting strong but also doing it with the most control he ever has had um, which will be exciting, you'll be excited to see the improvements that he makes um, so yeah, we went on from that row uh, to the extreme row I used a neutral grip, I've been used pronated this felt incredible. It's just impossible for you to cheat on this machine. And the setup is the same with Prime. You can see here you've got three pegs. First set we loaded all the way into the middle peg. Second set we just moved two plates from the middle plate middle peg to the top peg. Um, just again just to change the resistance profile and it felt incredible. So um, yeah I'll let you guys watch the rest of the set actually because yeah I liked it. There wasn't even a lot left. <laughs> Literally, you just got to see a rep. But uh, we then we actually done a shrug. We done a shrug on the cables. I haven't done any direct shrugs in a very long time. Um, but I haven't got a clip of those because it, the gym was just way too busy. And I didn't want to set up a camera in the middle of the gym. Um, in everyone's way, do you know what I mean? It's a public place, people. So uh, we done shrugs, and then we went on to a rear delt row. And again, they they literally supply all of these prime handles, all these different attachments. Um, and in this day and age in bodybuilding, I think if you want to have a world class bodybuilding gym, you need this sort of stuff. It requires so much investment, um, and because if you don't, it's literally you're almost just seen as a commercial gym. This kit is so important. Training has evolved, um, and yeah, it's just it's just the kit feels safer. It feels better. You connect better with the muscle. 
Um, but of course, this stuff costs money, it costs a lot of money. So, um, but if you have the money to invest and improve your gym, then it's got to be done, especially if you're in that bodybuilding world. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this one today. Uh, I know I did say about a food video coming. I just, I, I start eating and I'm just like, I just forget to film it. So I need to get into the habit of, of filming all of my meals and getting content out of it. But yeah, guys, have a good one. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.